Just when people were still getting used to the features of the newly released Neo 2, a wave of fresh leaks arrived, and they point to something far bigger. DJI's upcoming Avatar 360 is shaping up to be one of the most ambitious drones the company has ever created. For the first time, DJI is merging two worlds, a full 360-degree camera system and a switchable FPV drone, all in one device. Early leaks already caused confusion. Back in May, photos circulated online showing what many believed was the prototype of the Avatar 3. But now those images have been confirmed to actually show the Avatar 360 caught in FPV mode. The reason no one saw the 360 camera? DJI designed a rotating gimbal that hides the bottom lens by flipping it upward for protection. A clever engineering trick that kept the camera's true capability a secret. This hybrid design makes perfect sense. DJI already dominates both drone manufacturing and compact 360 cameras. Creating a drone that can switch between immersive 360 capture and traditional FPV flight feels like a natural next step, especially after the Avatar 2 set new expectations among advanced pilots. The leaks also reveal professional-looking promo images with the official name Avatar 360, confirming two core operating modes. In 360 mode, both lenses point up and down to capture an entire environment with an invisible drone effect. In FPV mode, the gimbal rotates 90 degrees to reveal a single, forward-facing lens for fast, agile flying. Even more exciting is the technology inside. Each lens is expected to offer a 180-degree field of view with 4K resolution, stitched together using AI to produce 8K 360-degree footage. That's a massive jump in creative power, especially for action sports and cinematic POV shots. In FPV mode, the drone may deliver 5K 60 frames per second video and 30 megapixel photos, while the full 360 system could support 120 megapixel panoramic stills. To handle this heavy data, DJI is reportedly boosting internal storage to 128 gigabytes, plus micro SD support. The drone will also use the new O4 Plus transmission system to push range up to 20 kilometers, and flight time is expected to increase slightly to about 25 minutes. The Avatar 360 isn't just about video quality, it's also packed with safety and tracking features. In stabilized FPV mode, it will use front LiDAR, rear optical sensors, and bottom infrared for obstacle avoidance. In full 360 mode, the lenses themselves may act as an omnidirectional sensing system, allowing the drone to detect and avoid obstacles in every direction. Advanced subject tracking similar to what we've seen in the Mini 5 and Neo 2 is also expected. DJI is preparing a long list of combo options, ranging from a basic $500 drone-only kit to FPV-focused bundles with goggles, motion controllers, and extra batteries. Manual FPV mode will still require the FPV Controller 3, which should be sold separately. With a rumored release date around December 16th to 18th, DJI is clearly trying to beat the competition, especially after rival Anti-Gravity pushed its own 360-degree drone launch to December 4th. The Avatar 360 won't be for beginners. Editing 360 footage takes time and a powerful computer, and FPV flying always comes with a learning curve. But if the leaks are accurate, this could be DJI's most innovative drone to date, a new category of flying camera that blends immersion, creativity, and high-speed FPV in a single machine. The DJI Osmo Pocket 4 just leaked again, and this time the details are a lot clearer, and honestly, a lot more exciting. The biggest news? DJI is officially moving to a dual camera system for the first time in the Pocket lineup. That means more flexibility, more creative control, and a serious jump in image quality compared to the Pocket 3. According to the latest leak, the Pocket 4's main camera will reportedly use the same 1-inch 50MP variable aperture sensor found in the new DJI Action 6, a sensor that currently ships in a $369 camera on Amazon. That alone is a massive upgrade for a pocket-sized gimbal camera. On top of that, DJI is adding a second 1-slash-1.3-inch square sensor designed to handle vertical video more naturally. 
This secondary sensor should make shooting TikToks, Reels, or Stories much easier without awkward cropping or resolution loss. Despite earlier excitement, the Pocket 4 will not feature a dual-screen setup. What many thought was a second display is now believed to be a tiny status screen for camera settings, though its full purpose remains unconfirmed. Battery life looks promising too. Leaks suggest up to 20% longer recording time, which fits with rumors of a larger battery to power the bigger sensors and what appears to be a slightly larger main screen. The surprising part? Even with all these upgrades, the Pocket 4 is said to remain just as compact and even lighter than the Pocket 3. As for the release date, DJI is reportedly aiming for December. However, with upcoming US tariffs and a potential FCC ban on DJI products scheduled for December 23, 2025, the launch could easily push into early 2026. Either way, the Osmo Pocket 4 is shaping up to be DJI's most ambitious, and possibly most powerful, pocket camera yet. The DJI Pocket 4 has quietly been sitting in the FCC database for a while now, and while the filing doesn't reveal anything explosive, it tells us one very important thing. DJI is almost ready. The paperwork looks routine, but that's exactly the point. It confirms the hardware is finished, the design is locked in, and DJI is simply checking off final certification steps before launch. The filing lists the device under the model ID OP041, which perfectly matches earlier leaks. There are still no product images included in the documentation, but what we do get is one of the most solid confirmations so far of what's happening under the hood. The battery capacity is getting a noticeable bump, jumping from the Pocket 3's 1,300 mAh to 1,545 mAh, 7.7 volts, about an 18% increase. And because companies often market the typical value rather than the rated value, this will almost certainly show up on the box as 1,600 milliamp hours. What does that mean in real life? Expect roughly 15 to 18% longer shooting time, a big win for creators who always felt the Pocket series needed a little more endurance. Even more interesting, DJI is pulling this off while continuing its trend of reducing weight and improving materials, something we just saw with the Avatar 360. That strongly suggests the internal components have been refined rather than completely redesigned. From the FCC outline, the physical design looks almost identical to the Pocket 3. No signs of a radical redesign, just a smart evolution. Connectivity also stays familiar with Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth Low Energy, though it's still unclear whether it goes beyond BLE 5.2. So, what's left? The rumored features. And if leaks are correct, this is where the Pocket 4 gets exciting. Expectations include dual cameras, an extra display, and several creator-focused upgrades that would make this the biggest refresh in more than two years.